Florida deputy was forced to shoot and kill a tiger at a zoo after it attacked a crew member who went through a fence near that animal. As Brian Enton reports, that man was severely injured, but now could face criminal charges. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! You got a tranquilizer? Ah! This is the moment police arrived and found a man's arm inside a tiger's mouth at the Naples Zoo. The tiger would not let go. We blurred the video because it's so graphic. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, no. A Collier County, Florida sheriff's deputy shot and killed the tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here's the tourniquet, bro. Come and grab him. Here. He was pulling him through right here. Jesus Christ, how he had his arm in his mouth as I got here. The zoo says the man was part of a third party cleaning crew and put his hand into the cage, something no one should ever do. He was rushed to the hospital as a trauma patient. This is the 911 call the man made while he was being attacked. Where exactly are you? Are you in the cage? Yeah, no. No, I'm just outside of it. He's got my hand. Okay. The tiger has your hand? <laughs> Ron McGill is a tiger expert at Zoo Miami. The body ca camera video is so disturbing, it's so difficult to watch, but it indicates to me here that what happened was absolutely no fault of the tiger. Uh, it's obvious that this person breached more than one barrier to get to where he was. The tiger killed was named Eco, an eight-year-old critically endangered Malayan tiger. There are fewer than 300 left in the entire world. You can take an animal out of the wild. You cannot take the wild out of the animal. People are watching too much of this Tiger King garbage, the social media pictures where people taking pictures with tigers and lions and little cats and thinking, oh, I can do the same. I can get a lot of clicks on my, my social media pages, a lot of likes. That's the, that's the danger of social media. We're going to see heavy rain. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.